In this video, I'll introduce some of the most useful extensions and other tools that will enhance your GNOME desktop experience. Let's get started. Before we explore the extensions, you'll need to install the Extension Manager. You can effortlessly obtain it from your software center. Simply open your software center, search for Extension Manager, or alternatively, you can follow the installation instructions provided on its GitHub page. Dash to Dock. Our first extension on the list is Dash to Dock. By default, GNOME has a hidden dock that disappears, even on the home screen. Every time we have to swipe up with three fingers to get this panel to appear. And this is a kind of inconvenient way for most people. To get rid of this, you need to install the extension through your extension manager. Open your extension manager and search for dash to dock. If you can't find your extension, try changing these options. Okay, and here we have it. We are going to install this extension from Michelle G. Click on the install button and wait for a few seconds for it to be installed properly. Once you have installed the extension, go back to your extensions manager and click the gear icon to access the extension's preferences. Within this interface, you'll discover an extensive range of settings to tailor your dock panel to your preferences. You have the flexibility to adjust the size of icons, reposition the panel to your liking, control its opacity, and even activate options that allow the dock panel to hide automatically when windows hover over it. The second extension in our list is Dash to Panel, which is used for customizing your activity bar or top panel. Open your extension manager and install the extension called Dash to Panel. You can install the extension in the same way as we installed our previous extension. Once you have installed it, enable it. After turning on the extension, your desktop will look a bit like Windows, with everything neatly placed at the bottom. But the cool thing is, you can change how it looks. You can move the panel around, make it taller or wider, whatever you like. You can also pick a different picture for the application menu icon. There are lots of settings to explore, and while I won't go through all of them, you can play around with them to make your desktop look just the way you want. Moving to the third extension on our list. Again, open your extension manager and go to the Browse tab. Search for Clipboard Indicator. And we are going to install this one from Tudmotu. Click on the Install button. After installing the extension, you can see that little icon in your panel. By clicking on this icon, you can access all your previously copied texts. It also has a private mode, so whenever you need to copy your passwords or some super secret text, you can turn it on. It also has a clear history option that will erase all your copied data. Here are some settings for this extension that you can change according to your preference. If you have ever lost your copied text, go and enable it. Blur My Shell is an immensely popular extension in the GNOME community. While it doesn't introduce any new functionalities to your system, it significantly enhances the visual aesthetics of your desktop by implementing a sleek blur effect in select parts of the interface. To activate this extension, access the Extension Manager and toggle the Blur My Shell option. Once enabled, you'll notice the elegant blur effect on your system, which greatly enhances the appearance compared to the default grayish color scheme. If you really like the blur effect, make sure to keep this extension enabled. The next GNOME extension on our list is Color Picker by Color Picker i2Berry. Once you enable this toggle, you will notice an icon right here. After clicking on this icon, you can easily pick color codes from anywhere on your display. 
Whether you are a designer looking to play with colors or a front-end developer, this is a must-have extension for you. As you can see here, how effortlessly I can change the color to match Chrome's distinctive red hue for this specific window in my HTML page. It also provides a visual representation of the codes by changing the background color, allowing you to easily identify the code you have copied. Here are the settings for this extension, where you can modify the color format and adjust a few other settings. If you're not a fan of the default Alt-Tab preview interface in GNOME, the CoverFlow Alt-Tab extension is perfect for you. Open your Extensions Manager and install the extension. Once you have installed the extension, enable the toggle. Now, when you press the Alt plus Tab key combination on your keyboard, this extension will give your Alt-Tab preview a fresh and improved appearance compared to the default one. Here's how it looks. It adds a 3D-like effect and beautiful animations to enhance your user experience. Caffeine is another GNOME extension. You can install this extension in the same way as we installed our previous ones. Once you've enabled the extension, you will find a new tile in your Quick Settings tile menu. The caffeine toggle comes in handy when you want to prevent your screen from automatically going to sleep based on your system's default sleep time settings. This is particularly useful when you're engaged in a task that requires some time and you don't want your display to turn off. Caffeine offers four different options to choose from, including an infinite option. Material U New Tab is an extension for your browser that provides a fresh and beautiful look to your browser's default homepage. If you don't like your browser's default homepage, you can try this extension. If you're using Firefox, simply visit addons.mozilla.org and search for Material U New Tab. Once you find it in the search list, click on it and then click the Add to Firefox button. Click Add here and you'll have a new look for your browser. The design of this extension is inspired by Google's Material U Design. This text is editable, so you can write your preferred text here, such as your name or anything else. It also provides weather information for your city, and the best part is you can easily change the search engine. If you type anything here and press Enter, it will search your keyword using your selected search engine. Currently, it is set to DuckDuckGo, Let's try searching in YouTube. Wow, it also provides a few more functionalities that you can access by clicking this icon here. Here, you can enable shortcuts for some popular websites, including a few AI tools. It also provides users with the option to customize the color theme to their liking. Let's explore a variety of options together. You are free to select your favorite color theme from the available choices. If you intend to install this extension on a browser other than Firefox, you can find the instructions on its GitHub page. An advantageous aspect of this extension is that it has been developed by me. I hope you find it enjoyable to use. If you're not a fan of GNOME's default expanded application menu and prefer a more compact option, the Arc Menu extension could be just what you're looking for. Open your Extension Manager and install the Arc Menu extension. Once installed, enable the toggle. After enabling the extension, it will add the menu icon to your taskbar, and here you can access all your applications in a compact menu. This extension provides lots of customization options, and I'm going to try a few of them. Right-click the icon and click on Arc Menu Settings to access the extension settings. In the menu layout, 
You can change the style and appearance of your application menu. You can make it look like Windows, KDE, or Elementary OS. I personally like this one. Here's a quick overview of some of its settings. Arc Menu offers a plethora of settings to explore and customize. You have the flexibility to change the menu icon, add personalized text, and much more. The extension provides an extensive collection of icons to choose from, allowing you to tailor your menu according to your preferences. Vitals, a GNOME extension that provides instant access to critical system details right in your taskbar. Keep track of processor usage, available RAM, memory utilization, internal storage space, system temperature, internet speed, battery information, and more, all at a glance. Enhance your computing experience with ease. The final item on our list isn't an extension, but it's pretty handy software. If you've been missing the functionality of KDE Connect on your GNOME desktop, don't worry, you can also use it here. Simply open your software installer app and search for KDE Connect. Once you've found it, you can install it just like any other software. This will allow you to connect your KDE mobile app to your GNOME desktop, just like you would in KDE Plasma. That wraps up this video. If you know of any useful extensions that we missed, please mention them in the comments. Thanks for watching and your likes would be greatly appreciated. Have a fantastic day.